celebrate the Blu-ray release of Iron Man 3, we created the Jarvis Second Screen app. And it's a free app that works on your iPhone and your iPad. And really what we wanted to do is we wanted to create a utility that um, you can use in your everyday life. And the idea is we wanted Jarvis to sort of take over your iPad and your iPhone. Yep. So why don't we just dive into it? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Jarvis, a virtual artificial intelligence, and I'm here to assist you with a variety of tasks as best I can, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Importing all preferences from home interface. Begin systems check. Please indicate if you would like to be referred to as sir or ma'am. So we wanted to make sure that the Jarvis experience was customizable, so you can pick whether he refers to you as a sir or ma'am, so we'll do the sir. Would you prefer your weather readings in Fahrenheit or Celsius? We'll do Fahrenheit. We'll skip Kelvin for now. Setup complete. I'm displaying a set of rudimentary commands currently available. It's not the most comprehensive list, but it will have to suffice. In the future, if you ever need a list of commands, please say Jarvis commands or tap the commands icon. Ready when you are. The time is now 1.13. PM. There's a lot of different things that we could do with Jarvis, but the first thing I'm going to show you is we're just going to set an alarm real quick. All right, so I'm just putting the dial. Dave, you want to talk about the inspiration for the alarm? Yeah, the inspiration for the alarm was uh, actually a scene from Iron Man 1 uh, where Christine Eberhardt uh, wakes up in Tony Stark's house. Uh, Tony Stark is nowhere to be found. Uh, Jarvis goes off. Um, Thank you. The alarm is set. You know, sort of home computing system, wakes her up, uh, alerts her to the time and the weather and uh, the surf conditions in Malibu, uh, sort of to her awe. Sort of the inspiration for that, for this app, was to sort of try to give people uh, a little bit of that uh, as much as we could um, in the form of, a, uh, of an iPad, iPhone, uh, iOS device app. So um, what we did is we uh, wrote a custom script and had Paul Bettany, the voice of Jarvis, record 200 or so lines for us. Yep. So that's embedded all throughout the app. Let's just jump through the app to see what are some of the other features. There's an area here where you can go into sounds. These are custom ringtones that um, you can email yourself and you can have Jarvis, you know, you can put that onto your phone. And when we say ringtones, we really mean Jarvis voiceover, so. Incoming call, I put it on the screen. So there's an alert for everything on an iOS device, all nine settings, uh, voicemails, text messages, emails, uh, everything you can, uh, you can possibly want. Right, there is a message center. Accessing where we will be sending you new messages. Oh, there's our alarm. I apologize for the disturbance, but it's time for you to wake up. So the alarm's going off, and like most people, I'm gonna hit it to snooze. Evasive maneuvers acknowledged. Let's turn the alarm off. Alarm canceled. Good afternoon, sir. Your first scheduled event is at 4 p.m. I see you require your daily affirmation. Very well, seize the day, sir. So what's great about that is Jarvis went through a series of different things, including accessing your calendar, telling you what your first event is. You can customize that alarm by turning on and off what, he want, what you want him to tell you. And you can also obviously set the alarm to repeat on certain days, uh, weekdays, weekends, whatever you Saturday do. Saturday and Sunday off, of course. Right, exactly. All right, so back to that message center where we're going to be able to send you um, more information as well as new ringtones and new alerts. Exclusive content, uh, alerts about all kinds of stuff for Jarvis and Iron Man 3 right. uh, and other fun stuff. But the great thing about Jarvis, of course, is two-way communication. Just like Jarvis is talking to you, you can talk to Jarvis. So if you hit this and you say, Jarvis weather. Scans indicate clear and sunny skies today. Right. An excellent day to take the new armor out for a spin. So temperature is now 86 degrees. So you can go through um, lots of voice commands. You can command Jarvis to post to Facebook. You can command Jarvis to go to the message center, etc. Yep. And he'll do that. Let's show you the Blu-ray connection. Yep. All right. So if you have a Blu-ray, the Blu-ray disc of Iron Man 3, and that Blu-ray disc is network synced uh, to a home Wi-Fi, and your iPad's connected to that same Wi-Fi network, you can actually control the Blu-ray disc with the Jarvis app. And I'm just going to bring up the control for now. So here's the control, and as you can see, you can just navigate your way through, and you know, just like a regular Blu-ray control. But this is Jarvis, so you don't need this type of control. You can use voice control to control the Blu-ray disc as well. So you could say, Jarvis bonus features. Accessing bonus features. And you don't even have to go that far. You can actually go straight into a bonus feature. You can say, for example, Jarvis gag reel. It would be my pleasure. 
and it'll load up the gag reel for you. And basically what you see is what you say. So you can command Jarvis to do anything. Yep. Uh, you can have Jarvis change the audio options, bring up subtitles, etc. One of the fun things, uh, so as we see here actually, uh, which we haven't quite gotten into yet, but this is uh, an AR code. So basically uh, what this is, and we'll walk you through, is, is a, a scannable code that you can use to unlock uh, some exclusive content and some exclusive stuff on the app uh, uh, with Jarvis. So if we actually exit out of this, we'll go through the intro. So if you go over here to Jarvis's icon and you activate that, you can do that from your Blu-ray remote. Have we turn up the audio? We'll let you hear the intro first. And then there's a custom intro from Jarvis, which will sort of explain the whole thing to you. Remote upload sequence initiated. Begin systems check. Online and ready. Because of damage to my systems in the mansion attack, I've relocated project roll call and all specifications along with my operating system to Stark Industries Central Database. The data has been encrypted and will need to be key card identified for access. To unlock individual files, you will need to locate and scan the corresponding ghost file key card. Launching a series of displays to help guide you. I'm not used to the technical specifications of this device, but I will do my best. I've detected a ghost file hidden on this disk. Uploading it now. It appears to be an encrypted image. In order to access the file on the Stark Industries Central Database, you'll need to scan it for me to run a decryption protocol. If you need any assistance, the operating instructions are located below. So then as you saw before, the file that you unlocked by watching the gag reel, which is one of the secret code uh, spots, you got an AR code. Now this is a different one. This is the first one you get uh, as sort of a setup. So if you activate the armors section on the app, which is where the scan uh, button is, you can see all of the armors, which is the, which is the uh, 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 information that Jarvis has protected on the Stark Industry Central Database. If you scan the AR code that Jarvis has given you, He, rest he restores the data and he gives you he gives you the first uh, seven armors, Tony's classics as it were, uh, from the Hall of Armor, which were destroyed in the mansion attack, of course. Um, so how that works, uh, once we exit out of this, uh, this image as well uh, on the Blu-ray, So we've hidden um, 13 or so images throughout the Blu-ray disc, yep. and you can, you know, hunt and peck to try to find them. Ev can turn on the audio, and if you find them all, then you'll get a special You get some bonus. fun stuff. Yeah. Jarvis gives you a special file. But um, So there's one other feature we want to show you about the Jarvis app. Um, you may want to just interact with Jarvis, so you can always go back to the home screen, and if you tap Jarvis, Is there anything I can help talk you to with? You. Is this an attempt at humor? I have terabytes of calculations to run. But you have to be careful. I'm very busy trying to keep you on schedule. Please let me know should you need any assistance. We can get a little angry. This game is growing old. I'm one of the most powerful computing systems on the planet, and this is how we're spending our time together. I'm very busy. If you continue to persist with this line of action, I'll have no choice but to activate my security protocol sequence. So he just gave you a warning. Activating security protocol self-destruct sequence, erasing all data from this device. 